it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this cute adorable 3D hanging heart. Uh, it doesn't have to be hanging it just you can add this part on to make it hanging and this is um, really simple to do. It's a lot of counting but it's very simple and it's actually quite a quick project to do so if you're looking for a last minute gift for someone whenever throughout the year then this would be ideal. I've done it in blue because um, basically the red yarn that I started to do it in you couldn't see the stitches and that's no point me showing you how to do something if you can't see what I'm doing. So I hope you enjoy this project and I'm going to show you what you're going to need and how to make it. So to do this project you're going to need some scissors to cut your yarn with, you're going to need a darning needle, I've got some contrasting yarn here to use as a stitch marker, I've got my um, soft toy filling which is just um, just regular toy filling, nice and soft fluffy stuff um, obviously you're going to need a bit more than this but I just wanted to show you what I was using I think it's 100% polyester and um, obviously you're going to need some yarn I'm using blue because it's the best thing to show up on the screen I did start doing this in red but um, you couldn't see what I was doing basically and this is double knit and you would normally need a 4mm hook for this but um, I like a nice firm texture and feel to the to the project so I'm using a slightly smaller hook and this is a and get this to focus at three and a half mil so just going down half a half a centimeter in size and that just makes the difference about get, giving it a nice firmer feel um, obviously if you want a soft feel then use uh, the, the hook that's required for your yarn but this is just my preference okay so to start off what you need to do is you need to chain 15 chains <laughs> so make your 15 chains and what we're going to do now is work into the top part which we would normally work and also into the bottom loop so we're going to basically travel down this side go round and come back up and the first um, row will give us that v shape so now we need to do three double crochets into the second chain from the hook so that's that's the first one and that's the second one so i call them double crochets because that's how i know them but you may know them as single crochets, so um, I'm British so I call it a double crochet, uh, it's the same stitch, but you just do three of those into that second chain from the hook, so that's, this is the fiddly part, so that's one, two, and one more, three. Oops. <laughs> there we go. So that's our three double crochets, that's one, two, three, into that first, um, into that second chain from the hook. So now what we need to do is we do one double crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, one more. Okay. Now we need to skip the next two chains and do the same again as in doing one double crochet into the next five stitches and then three double crochets into that last stitch along. So skip the next two and then start again with on the third one along and this time we're going to be making that V shape so don't leave it too loose, make sure you've pulled the yarn up as firm as you can, obviously not too tight but you want to make sure that you've got a definite point there, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and then again three double crochets into that last chain, long one, two, three, Okay, so now what that does is that brings the stitches around and now we can work into the back loop. So if I just pull my hook out and I'll just show you that that there is called a back loop and that is the part of the chain that didn't get worked into and that's now where we're going to put the hook and work the rest of the stitches into and I'm just showing you where I'll be going. Okay, so now we need to do five double crochets um, not all in the same one, but um, one double crochet into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, 
and one more five. Okay, so you can see I've worked into those back loops of that chain. And that brings us up to that point where we made the V shape, which is basically two chain space. So what we need to do is put a hook into that chain space like that and do one double crochet, two chains, and into that same space do another double crochet. So now we need to do one double crochet into the next five chains. So that's one, two, three, four, and one more five. And that brings us back to where we started here, and that's upside down. If I turn it this way around, you can start to see it's starting to get that V heart shape. So if you wanted to add a stitch marker, this would be a good place. And I'm just using a piece of contrasting yarn with a knot in the end. And I just lay that over my work. So I've got a knot on the back and I just lay that over where I would continue to work my stitches. So it'll be easy to pull out at the end. But it just is a nice little way of reminding yourself where you should end. Because then once you start all this counting, it's easy to forget where you've... Where you've uh, where you started off from. So now what we need to do is to start the second round and we need to do two double crochets into the top of the three double crochets that we did at the start. So we need to do two crochet, double crochets, two double crochets, two double crochets into those three stitches there. So it's tricky to get that hook in but once you do it's alright. She said <laughs> That's one, two, into the next one, two double crochets, one, two, and into the next one along, two double crochets, one, two. So that brings us around nicely. I'm just going to move that out of the way. So now we need to do one double crochet into the next four stitches. That's one, two, three, four. And that brings us down to that point there. So we skip the two chains like we did on the previous round and then continue to work and we're going to do one double crochet into the next four stitches again. So that's one, two, three, four. So you can see we've come up and over, down, skipped two, and then continue to work our stitches. And now we're going to do again what we did on this side, and we're going to do two double crochets into the next three stitches. So there's one stitch, there's the second stitch there, and the third stitch there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I counted six then and that's what I naturally do. So sorry if I make that confuse you, but that was because I've had to do two double crochets into the next three stitches. And to me, it just is easier to count six because I know how many I should have done them, but um, that's why I counted six. So I've done those two double crochets into the next three stitches. And now I need to do one double crochet into the next six stitches. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, and that brings us to that two chain space. If I put the hook in there, you can see that's a two chain space there. And we're going to repeat what we did on the previous round. So one double crochet into the two chain space, two chains, and then one more double crochet into that same space. Now we need to do one double crochet into the next six stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and because I put that stitch marker in there I know that I'm now back into that right place I'm going to pull the stitch marker now up and over so now that when I get back around the second the third time I know that I'll be ending up in the right place again okay so on to round three this time we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch long and we're going to repeat that two more times so in total we're going to do three lots of two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and then that will be two double crochets one double crochet two double crochets one double crochet so two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to do that one more time two double crochets into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the next stitch okay so that brings us around nicely to bring that hot curved shape there and now we need to do one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three that brings us to those two stitches in the middle which we now need to skip and now we need to do one double crochet into the next four stitches after we skip two so that's one two we've skipped and then we'll start again into that third one along but we're going to do four along so um, one double crochet into the next four stitches so that's one two three four okay so now we need to repeat that um, two one two one two one on this side so we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and then one more time two double crochets into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch and that brings us around nicely now so now we need to do one double crochet into the next six stitches one two three four And then again into that two chain space we need to do one double crochet two chains and one double crochet again into that same space and now we need to do one double crochet into the next seven stitches so that's one two three four five six seven and there's my handy stitch marker so again I know I'm in the right place and now I'm going to bring that forward just to remind me where I need to finish up okay so I've got my heart upside down I'll just turn it around the right way and you can see it's really taking shape now so we're just going to do our final round we just start off this fourth round by just doing one double crochet into the next stitch like that and now we need to do two double crochets into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the next two stitches and we do that three times all together so that would be two into that one one into that one one into that one two one one two one one so one into two into the next stitch and then one into the next two stitches two into the next stitch one into the next two stitches two into the next stitch one into the next two stitches We've done our increase on that round part. 
that brings that round nice and smoothly. Then we have one double crochet to do before we have two to skip. Okay, so we've got there's our two to skip, and now we need to do one double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. And now we need to do this again on this side, so that's two double crochets into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next two stitches, and again two into the next, one into the next two, two into the next stitch, one into the next two stitches. Okay, now we need to do one double crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we have to do that same again. One double crochet into that two chain space, two chains, and one double crochet again into that same two chain space. And now we're going to do our final part which is doing one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I know I'm back to the right place because of my stitch marker. And there, I'm now going to take that out. See, it just pulls out nice and easily. There you go, and there is one side of your heart done. So now you need to um, make another one. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to fasten off my yarn. I'm going to cut my yarn. Fasten it off with a nice tight knot, like so. And now I'm going to sew in my ends. So just weave those in, into the back of your work and you just want to make sure that it's not going to show on the other side. And then you don't need to worry too much but don't cut it off at the, at the base but you just want to cut it off so that it doesn't overlap, doesn't hang over the edge of your um, heart. Okay, so. That's one side of my heart done and I need to make another one and when you make the other one what you do is you don't stop you just keep going because then we're going to join the two sides together. Okay so by the magic of editing I have my two sides made now and as you can see I've not fastened off the yarn on the second side but I have just woven in um, that tail end and just trimmed it off like I did on the first part and now what we need to do is we need to take the two heart sides and put them with the wrong sides facing so that's the two sides that have the tail end showing that's the wrong side and you put those two together like that and now what we need to do is we need to crochet the two together the two sides together so you want to make sure you keep them um, in the right place and if it's helpful you can use like you can just do a tacking stitch if that makes it easier for you but um, I find it's just easier just to just to do it. <laughs> so just hold them together and um, you want to put the hook down through the next stitch and through the back like that. So you've got, you've got, you're now crocheting the two sides together and I'm just going to do a slip stitch here and then I'll just do one chain and I'll do a double crochet into that same stitch just to get it started. And then slowly make your way around, take your time, if it's a bit difficult if you've never done it before, but um, it's not difficult, it's just a little bit fiddly, but just take your time, make sure you're not skipping any of those stitches, so make sure you get through all of those stitches. And then I'm going to come back when I get to this point here, because I'm going to show you how to make the loop part. Okay, so I've got down to the um, 
the middle part and I'm just going to do one more stitch there I think and then I'm going to do into that space there where you skip the stitches I'm just going to do a slip um, another double crochet and then she doesn't split her yarn I'm just going to chain um, 21 or well, you can chain as many as you like but as long as it's like a an odd number I find it's better and then what you do is you're just going to do a slip stitch through that space there she says <laughs> like that and that's now made it so you can hang it up and then you just continue doing your double crochets through both sides of the heart and I'm going to come back when I get to this point down here. Okay so I'm down to that point here which is the bottom of the heart so I'm just going to do two stitches into that um, point there just so that it doesn't um, pull when I start doing this side. Now I'm going to stop there now because what I want to do is add the stuffing into the heart. So I've left a hole there to do that with so I'm just going to grab some stuffing and um, yeah just put in as much as you want you might want it to be fairly flat um, if you didn't want it to be too thick you could maybe cut a piece of felt um, out and have that in there instead of using this wadding if that's what you've got to hand you know there's always different things that you can use and um, yeah just put in as much as you want you can make it as puffy or flat as you like um, you could even probably make this into a pin cushion you know just thinking about all the different things that you could do you don't have to do that loop there you could just <clears throat> just keep going round the edge and just turn it into a pin cushion and that would be a really nice gift for someone as well so yeah I think that's probably as much stuffing as I want to put in there yeah that's enough for me and then I'm just going to now finish that up by crocheting along that final edge and I'll come back when I have sewn all my edges um, ends in. So there we go I have made a 3D puffed little heart and I think as you may hopefully agree it's adorable. So yeah I did this in this blue colour just because um, I did it in a red colour. Um, I'll just show you the panel I did and I don't think, yeah, you can't see the stitches very well. In the camera, to me, it looks um, all blown out. So I'm glad I went ahead and did it in the blue because I think you can see the stitches better in the blue than you can in the red. Only up close can you probably see. That's probably blinding you, so I won't do that. Okay, so, <laughs> so I did, I can't remember if I mentioned, but you could put a little bead on there. It's like a little decorative bead. You know, you could just put... Um, put that thread that loop through it had to be quite a wide bead a hole in the bead I suppose but you could just put a little bead there as a decoration and um, yeah you've got yourself a lovely cute little hot hanging decoration and you can do these for all throughout throughout the year this will be um, a great little gift to give to someone um, yeah or just to decorate your home with so I really hope you enjoyed this project um, if you did I would love you to give me a thumbs up and if you didn't tell me why and we can probably do something about that hopefully <laughs> but um yeah just tell me if you make this project i'd love to know and uh yeah please subscribe to my channel it really does help me if you do that and that way you'll get to see um everything that i show um to you once a week i bring a video out so um yeah you won't miss out on all of those you'll get to see what i do each week so thanks for watching i'd love a thumbs up and a if you liked it and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everyone. How you doing? It's Olivia from Girly Bunches. I thought I would do a question and answers video this week because I've never done one before and I think